<sighs> okay. We made it. Vivi Rizzo, talking once more to the void, last time for the month. And we've made it all the way there. 31 in 31. Now, for Halloween, I figured it would be most appropriate to do something Halloween related. But, with my other factor of having to be something I have not seen, left another kind of a small list to work with. Now, the entire Halloween series, yeah, I've seen that. And the classic trick or treat, seen it too, many times. Probably gonna watch it again anyway. But, I did recall a couple of years ago, I did watch a movie that was a spin-off from an anthology that was Halloween related. So, I figured it was a good go-to. That movie was Terrifier, which is a very good movie. A little, not the highest budgeted, but whew, it's a, it's an intense core fest, and uh, not much gets me squeamish. That one uh, did it a little. But this one is All Hallows' Eve, a smaller other anthology series with a wraparound story about a babysitter on Halloween watching over two kids, and, well, one of them got a mysterious VHS tape in their trick-or-treat bag. They pop it in against the babysitter's best, better judgment, and are treated to a series of short horror films, which seem to slowly start bleeding over into their reality. Usually all connected by the Art the Clown motif. Now, Art the Clown was the main antagonist of the Terrifier movie, and he was... <laughs> He was. Whew. He's definitely a figure. Move. 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 Okay. Now. This one had uh, three main vignettes in lieu of it, with uh, Art the Clown featuring in some way in each of them. The first one, and, well, all three of them apparently were short films that the director had done previously, and he just kind of strung them together with this wraparound story just to give them a little more traction, I guess. And, for the most part, they're okay. One of them, um, the other two, decent. Now, the first one was referred to as the Ninth Circle, and it involves a young woman getting kidnapped from a bus, uh, from a uh, uh, subway station, and uh, is, well, by Art the Clown, and is, uh, well, subjected to a series of horrifying encounters with witch-like and other deformed individuals in a underground area before being finally raped by the devil. Weird, but well done. The acting in this one, though, mm, not the greatest. I will also touch around for the wraparound segment. I will say Art the Clown's acting great the whole way through. Love Art the Clown. Now, the babysitter, she's fine. She does okay. The two kids, the girl, she's fine. Get a child actor, give her some slack. The, the boy kid, I want to backhand that kid. He is whiny, obnoxious, and has a voice like nails on a chalkboard. And he spends the whole movie complaining and whining. <clears throat> Second segment, now this was the weak one. I don't know if it has a name. I couldn't find an individual IMDb listing for this one. The other segments actually had one. But it's about a, well, an alien ship crashing and a, a woman who's alone in the house being pursued by an alien. Man, it's one cheesy looking alien. And just the way he moves was more comedical, like he's trying to swim through the air rather than Walk. So this this was kind of a weak segment. The way the clown features into this one is they reference that her boyfriend, who isn't present, is an artist and painted something from his dreams without remembering it. And of course, by the time when they reveal it at the end, it's the clown. It doesn't really factor into the main story, but it, I guess it just serves. The last sequence is the main one that the, spawned the spinoff. Was just called Terrifier again, and it's. More or less 
what the movie Terrifier was, in short, of a psychotic clown chasing and butchering people along his way as he pursues an individual victim, in this case a girl who is lost on her way home. And it's pretty intense. Especially the ending of the segment is, um, memorable. Now, throughout all of it, the Ninth Circle's gore effects are a little weak, but weak, and uh, the effects in the Alien one are downright comical. But uh, the Terrifier and the Wraparound segment, the special effects for being a lower-budget one, are pretty good. I will say the acting in the Terrifier segment, also, I had no problems with. So, with lower-budget ones, you kind of hit or miss on the acting. Those, that segment was pretty standout. After they finish watching the segments, well, uh, Baby Sarah starts having a bit of a freak out as the kids are in bed and starts seeing things, and, well, out pops the clown. And it goes from there. I won't go into the details, but uh, this movie doesn't leave anything on the table and will pull no punches, and much like Terrifier did. So, overall, though, uh, this one wasn't as effective as uh, its spin-off, and it was a lower budget, so that definitely factors in. But the Terrifier and Wraparound segment does have a decent amount of tension. The Ninth Circle is more, what are they going to do next? And the Alien segment was just comical, so it's kind of hard to give overall one. I'm going to give this one a three MacGuffins, though towards the higher end. It was a good effort and a decent Halloween fair. All right, so that's end of the month. So, where do we go from here? Apparently my cat's going to keep nuzzling my computer and shaking it around. That's where she's going from here. Say hi. Okay. Whenever I start filming, she chooses that point to jump up here. No matter what. Anyway, where do we go from here? So, over the next couple days, I'm going to be posting kind of a 5 and 5, 5 best, 5 worst, over the course of the month. And where we go from there is I will continue doing this, but I'm going to broaden the categories a little bit. I will occasionally watch movies I have seen and just want to see again or talk about, just haven't seen in a while, or I just something to see. Otherwise, I'm also going to be doing a little bit of, well, streaming service roulette, where I'll Fire something up at random, just to see. Now, doing this, I have, in the past, come across some movies that really did, I did work, just off Netflix, and hey, I was pleasantly surprised. Most of these are probably going to be bottom-of-the-barrel MacGuffins, but that's half the fun, just seeing what you get. Now, if anyone has any movies they'd like me to take a look at, drop me a comment, and I'll get to it. I don't think I have too long of a waiting list, so I'll get to requests as soon as I can track down a copy. Um, otherwise, I did mention in an earlier vid that I was going to be having a sister series to this where I talk about the movies in a different kind of venue. Hopefully, now that I'm not doing this once per day, I'll be able to have a little more time because those are going to be a bit more scripted and less ramblematic. So hopefully I'll get those done in the coming weeks, but otherwise I'm going to try to be throwing one of these up once a week or once every two weeks, something like that. More if I feel frisky, but for the most part I keep more of a leisurely pace. I believe that is it, and uh, hope to keep seeing from you guys long past Halloween. So take care, and have a good day, and happy Halloween.